Hello, I'm Alistair Parnell and today we're looking at the Aerophone Editor app from Roland. In this video I'll show you what it is, where to find it and how to set it up. Here we go. Before you get started with the app there are two small steps to take. The first one is you'll need to update the firmware on the Aerophone. If you just go to the Roland website there's clear instructions there on how to do that. By the way, as part of that update, there are a new features with new fingerings uh, for brass players and for recorder players as well. The second thing you'll need to do is get hold of an Apple camera connection kit. These are available from any Apple store and you'll need a USB cable, the same as you might have at home for your printer. The connections are very easy to make. Camera connection kit connects to the iPhone and then the other USB cable connects to the Aerophone and you're ready to go. When you open the app for the first time, you'll need to click on the cogwheel at the top left hand corner and just make sure that the MIDI input and output they should be both selected to Aerophone. Once you've done that, you can close. Now, the three things we're going to be looking at are the control of the instrument, the way that we can edit tones, and then the layering of sounds. And before we do any of that, we've got to download the sounds from the Aerophone onto the application. So if you select the down arrow at the top of the screen, and then select Aerophone, that's going to import all of your sounds into the application. Once you've got the sounds there, we can start the editing process and to see those screens, click on any one of your sounds and then press Editor. And here's where we make those changes. So here's the control screens, here's the screens for changing the way the sound actually responds, editing the sounds, and then we've got the layer screen as well. So now we've found our way around the app, let's look in a bit more detail at those three sections. So let's start with the first section, how the instrument can control the sounds. I'm looking here at the shakuhachi sound, and I'd maybe like to change the way that I get a control from my lip. Now, moving my lip doesn't really make any change to the actual tone quality. Now, if I go here to Byte Assign, and I select CC16, let's have a listen to that. So as you can hear now, when I blow harder, but with my lip looser, I can change the amount of breath sound that's in that attack. So I can get some really lovely nuances to the sound. Let's look at one more thing. Perhaps uh, let's look at the way we could use the thumb lever. Here I'm going to select on the right hand thumb. I'm going to select CC81. What this does for me is it adds a nice little authentic ornament sound to my shakuhachi. As you can see from the drop down list, there are lots of different changes you can make, so experiment and have some fun. If you want a full list of those, they're on the website. We've had a look at the control, now let's have a look at how we can edit sounds. I'm here on the advanced edit page and I'm looking at the filter offset and here I can change the resonance of the sound. This will change the character of the sound.
And then if I go to the multi effects page, the equalizer is very useful for changing the character of the sound as well. I'd like to perhaps make this sound a little bit darker. Okay, now I can go back to the main screen and save my setting. When you're happy with your sound, you can simply press save in the bottom left hand corner. And then on the main screen here, we've got three options. If we press the upload button, we can select to either send all of those sounds back to the Aerophone, we can save them permanently onto the phone itself, and we can even upload them to iCloud. Within the editor section, we've also got more than 20 effects that we can use. I'm looking here at a recorder sound. And I'm wanting to play some music here from my iPad, which is a duet. And I can select the long delay. Now what this does is it repeats the sound that I've just played. Now I can play from my iPad, the Telemann Canonic Sonata. So far, we've looked at controlling the sounds, we've looked at editing the sounds. Now I'd like to show you layering some of those sounds. Now, every sound that you hear in this video is coming straight from the Aerophone. The laptop is only here to play some backing tracks for me. In this sound, uh, I'm a big fan of uh, film music and uh, what I've decided to do here is layer three different sounds together. You can see on the app that I've got a saw lead, I've got a grand pipe organ, and I've got a sign lead as well. I'm also using the thumb on the aerophone to change additional notes above the note that I'm sustaining. So I can build up some chords. In this next sound, I wanted to create a, a brass section, a horn section. And so what I've done here is I've combined uh, a trumpet, a tenor sax, a baritone sax, and a trombone in the four parts. So now I've got myself a horn section. Another sound that I've done on my app this week has been uh, one that I call vocal chords. Now in this sound, I've used the same sound in each of the four parts. And I've moved the pitch of each one of those sounds so that I can build up chords. Uh, if I add in the thumb control as well, I can actually now get up to eight part chords.
Thank you for watching this brief overview of the Roland Editor app. We've simply scratched the surface here, but there really is so much more to experiment with. This editor now gives us more versatility than we've ever had with a digital wind instrument. If you'd like to learn more about the Aerophone, please visit the Roland website for more information. Thanks for watching.